Welcome back. Welcome back to the Spectacle Podcast. Um, let's call it season two, I guess. Um, I didn't originally plan on doing seasons, but it did cross my mind. Uh, organizing a podcast and getting guests to come on and making yourself available to speak, you know, an hour a week or more with a commute to the studio and editing and everything uh, is a big task and takes and requires a lot of bandwidth to produce. And I think it's a, a reasonable approach to try to take this on more as uh, seasons, if you will. I did just look. It's not as bad as I thought, considering today is like, I don't know, May something, May 29th. And um, we did release one on November 2nd. So I was like, man, it feels like a year. But I guess technically uh, it's been six months. Um, with that said, I've been uh, working hard the last couple of weeks to uh, stack a couple interviews and going to try to get to about 10 or 12 to release over the next four months. And, uh, you know, call it season two. So welcome back. Um, we today, you will be listening to uh, none other than Cole Young of Metalwood Studio. Um, I love this guy, kid, guy, you know, uh, feel like I met him when I met him. He was a kid, had to be like seven years ago at this point in the Melbourne Golf uh, uh, store. Um, so he'd have been like 23 at the time. Um, I mean, I feel like a kid, so he's a kid as far as we're concerned. And uh, we acted like kids, which is my favorite thing, dude. Like, it really is my favorite thing to just be silly and say silly things that you kind of don't really mean but are kind of funny. And it's so much easier. They're very funny, to be honest. Um, and it's so much easier to do that when your character is like a comic or something. But when you're not a comic, like when you're like an eyewear designer – or a uh, apparel, you know, fashion designer, uh, as Cole is, um, or just like a personality that isn't, you know, known for their comedy. It's, um, I guess it's like a touchier thing, right? Like, you, you know, to, you're just kidding. Like, it's, I don't know. I think that makes sense to anybody listening. But for the first 15 minutes, at least, Cole and I just said stupid shit and just acted like little kids. And it's just really my favorite thing. I had so much fun, and it just really opens up the whole hour um, and sets a tone for the conversation. I mean, Cole and I are bros, you know, so uh, I, you know, these are like kind of some of my favorite uh, episodes when I'm just like talking with a brother and just being silly, talking about the things that we love, or talking about the things that we don't love, or talking about the industry that we're in, or people, or whatever. Um, and with Cole, that's going to be fashion. It's going to be golf. It's going to be business. Um, it's going to be, uh, well, whatever, whatever. Um, Cole, if you don't know him, um, he really has a, a really engaged audience. He's super unique. He's really good in my opinion at, uh, you know, just being like part of the fabric of social media in, in 2024 and just kind of being authentic and original and, um, clearly has the patience and the skill set to uh, make content that is unique and impactful. And we even talk at one point about why I hate, um, I don't hate getting free stuff. I just am like, every time I'm like unboxing, you know, and, and then I, and like, we all just got this thing from Jones and like, I was just one of the people that unboxed it. And then like his post is just so good. Like, and it probably took him like one minute and we talk about it, but um, and I, you know, it's almost like, uh, I guess he makes me want to be better, but like kind of not, I don't know. I'm busy. I'm 40. I have two kids. I have a business. Like I have hobbies. I'm trying to stay fit. I'm fucking golfing. Like, I don't know. I don't want to spend five more extra minutes making good content. I wish I did. He doesn't inspire me to make better content. Um, I want to get free shit and not feel guilty that I'm not knowing how to post and I don't want to look like other people. It sucks. It's bullshit, um, and we talk about it. Um, anyways, I'm going to go shorter rather than longer uh, so that you can just enjoy this podcast. Um, welcome back to season two. Very excited. Hope to get some great guests on here. Um, hit me up if you think you're worthy, except then I might have to say, I, like, then it's awkward <laughs> if I don't think that. I'm just kidding. 
Um, yeah, let's do this. Uh, season two. Enjoy this podcast between uh, Cole Young of Metalwood Studio and uh, yours truly, Garrett Light. All right, guys. Bye. Look at you, dude. You're a fucking star, bro. We're uh, taking a huge boat of confidence with this new hairdo. I was just going to say, have you ever um, so have you ever done the same hairdo twice in a row? I don't I don't. I don't know what this is, but oh, I'm like, dude, it's lesbian chic, bro. I need like I went from. <laughs> You're my favorite lesbian. Are you recording right now? <laughs> I hope so. I was gonna say because I've <laughs> like done a whole head change. I've gone from boxer briefs to boxers. Okay, wait, boxer briefs to boxers. I always fuck this up. I wear briefs, right? Like they're they're snugger. Yeah. So you just wear the the floppy, the floppy ones, ones, like the like the yeah. like I play video games in my basement guy. Yeah, like Mountain Dew Code Red. Like, oh mom, my get the god, rolls. why? I don't know. I just needed to change. They crumple up in your. Okay, so you switched Switch there. That switched the haircut. I got new glasses. You're not even mid life, bro. You're Something's going through a crisis. Die. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, now it's me. Why? Because of you're know. talking. No, it's not Zoom. It's not I like think they're on... all going. It's like we're on Zoom. Um, yeah, dude, what does this hair do? I don't know. There's nothing in it. It's a cut. You don't have anything in your hair. No, I'm just, it's like, this is, I think I have like Chia Pet hair where if I can just put it in a spot and stay, like it'll go straight up, but I have. And you almost have like a semi mullet going. Mm -hmm. And it's, your hair's very thin. Super thin. Like Kiradesh. Uh, I was going to introduce myself as Kiradesh. <laughs> Today on the around. podcast, we have <laughs> Kiradesh uh, Afrobarn. <laughs> Hello. Um, um uh, yeah wow yeah you're a man of many looks i don't you kind of pride yourself you're like uh geek chic you know geek chic i'll take that yeah like um, you really like you love to look you know bad you like you put your... that is exactly what i'm going for yeah yeah um do you get... know you've seen like adam sandler inform like a lot of like fashion choices that are happening in like Soho. i have have Adam you? Sandler? Have you not seen like this? Like the gigantic shorts that he wears when he plays? Like, what's like, it called? Bloatcore? Yeah, like some sem like some jersey on top. Okay. Wrap around sunglasses. Uh but do you like, have to be fat like a, to have bloat to be bloatcore? No, 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 no. I think it's just like triple XL and above, like baggy shorts. That's ha that's happening. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm amazed that you haven't seen it. Do you think that's I mean, I kind of fuck with it if it's yeah. comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Like isn't it just about comfort? 1000%, but also like ironically looking bad. Like wearing like affliction and like fox racing shit. On the person that typically does have style, like would yeah. this person at some time in their life been wearing a fedora? Mm -hmm. Like, because that was a trend. Like, it's ironically a... or unironically? Unironically. Did you ever wear a fedora? Absolutely. Wow. Dude, like in 2000, <laughs> um, I'm finally at the best stage. You know, fashion wise, right. that I've ever felt. You're the best um, dressed you've ever been. Yeah, which is nothing. Like I, like right. I don't care. I just wear the same thing. Why pretty is much. that? Yeah, I actually, the only reason I wore jeans today is because I was supposed to see uh, Greg Lucci. If you know who that is, uh -uh. he was with Buscemi at uh, Gourmet, and he all oh, he ever I, does okay, is yeah, make yeah, yeah. fun of me ever. Time. Yeah. So I wanted to like kind of put something on that I felt like he wouldn't right. make fun of me, but then he canceled. So, um, okay. but normally I just wear sweatpants and a shirt. So I just, yeah. I guess it's not, but it's not triple X. So it's like, would kind you be made fun of for wearing sweatpants and a t-shirt? I don't, it's, I call it rich core. Yeah. Like, like going to air core. Yeah. 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 But they may not, but then, but it's not, um, it's not like an expensive brands. It doesn't have to be. No, no, no. It just like, I just feel like someone who goes out in public in the middle of the day in sweatpants and a shirt is probably rich. Yeah, probably. So I just, rich core. I'm going for rich core, even okay. though I'm not rich. I'm going for it. You could dress it down so much more. Or comfort core. Right. It's just, I'm just fucking comfortable. Like, I don't yeah. ever, I don't ever, I never want to put something, I'm, I haven't worn jeans in like a year. How's that? I mean, I just don't. Jeans kind of suck. They suck. I mean, they yeah. just kind of suck, dude. Yeah. You know, like I'm always, anyways, um, yeah, bloat core. You're really good at, um, like you just know what's going on in the fit core world. I try to. Is There's what, other like. Is that what they call it? Fit core. Fit core. Just like fits. The, the fits core. Fits core. The zeitgeist. Fits. Um. Throwing fits. Yeah, I mean that's a good if you want to like stay up on. Yeah, you shit, listen to them and pay them. attention to them. Yeah, listen yeah. to this podcast. What? No, 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 no. 
This is if you don't want to know what's going on about anything. Oh, okay. Like we're gonna, not going to talk about. Core. We're not going to talk about anything today. What's it called? Bubble core. Bubble core. Yeah. What is that in reference to? Just like bubble wrap. Just being in a bubble. Yeah, bubble core. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Subculture. It doesn't have to be a core. Yeah. You stop using that word. That's a dumb word. Okay. Cool. We're done. Yeah. You're done here. Bye guys. See you. No. Um. No. But you really are. Uh, you I got do me have to think about my hair. Uh, you brought up your hair. Well, I don't know. What are we fucking talking about? We're talking about Cole Young, who went from just the kid to this, just like the guy. I'm still the kid. A lot of my decision making is like, you can't get mad at me. I'm 12 years old. Like, do you make it in a split second or do you think about it? Uh, do you ever do something and be like, I shouldn't do that because of the perception? <laughs> or just the perception? You like just shoving a hot dog in your face and no. just being like, I love glizzies. And then people thinking like, okay, that's very phallic. Is... No, that's, no. <laughs> just do it pretty much all the time. I think if you're asking about like Cole, the decision maker in my business. Yeah, that's a different thing. Yeah, because uh, I have uh, people that are like kind of uh, not worrying about me, but like making sure I'm not doing something dumb. Well, you don't really do anything dumb, but I guess, like, I'll just say this. Like, I, I've heard before someone has told me that they want to punch you because oh, of shit. your social media. Sick. Yeah. Like, just, but he's like a super, like, uh, buff guy who was probably, like, really um, popular in high school, and you're, like, the opposite guy. Yeah. And because, like, some of the faces that you make that you, he's like, he's like, I, I, he's like, why do you like that Metalwood brand? Like, I just want to punch that guy. Oh, amazing. You love that. I mean, I've never. <laughs> but do you I don't see? Think I'm super confrontational. No, no, no. It's I not... don't think. Oh, I'm getting to that part where I'm like, I don't really put myself in positions to where I would like come across those people. No. Uh, I grew up with this person. Okay. It's like I they can't. He's unavoidable. I love him that to death. Rules. Yeah, that's like, amazing. I feel like when he told me that, I'm like, okay, Cole's kind of like doing, doing it right. Yeah. It's like the I heard about the Howard Stern thing. Um, you know, it's in the movie, but it's like when he's when they come to say when Howard Stern is like, it's, you've seen the movie, right? Private Parts. Yes, long time ago. Great movie. Yeah. Um, and there's a part where like the guy from the um network is like, guess how many people watch him who love him? And then it's like, it's way higher than he thinks. He goes, guess how many people who listen to him, how long they listen to him if they hate him? And it's like even longer. Yeah. So I'm like, anytime I hear, you know, it's like all good, all PR is good PR, whatever. True. And then when I heard that, I was like, okay, he's doing something it's right. Gotta be, yeah. I mean, if you don't have haters, you're not doing it right. Right. Um, I've never been punched. Me neither. Maybe I need it. Have you ever been punched? No. Should never. We, we ever. Fight. Never been punched anywhere. No, what? I've never been punched in the face. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never been punched in the face, but I've also never been like punched where it wasn't a joke. Yeah. Like I've been hit in the arm by like a friend yeah. and been like like a Charlie horse like, or like yeah fuck, you know yeah. but I've never been punched especially in the face ever damn you know how many people we I tell that to grass. you ever tell that to people and they're like what <laughs> right <laughs> like everybody's been in a fight yeah like I bet yeah. you Ryan Thomas Murray's been punched for sure and I bet you Duarte's been punched I don't know Probably. him that well he's got uh. He has like older siblings that probably beat the shit out that of him. That doesn't so. count. Siblings don't count. Do you think okay. Emerson's been punched? No. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no. No, little city boy. Jimmy? Uh, I don't know his maybe upbringing. Not. Maybe like not. Ron Moon's been punched. He's been in like a, like dozens of fights. Yeah, I know people that just like go looking for it. No, but he doesn't anymore. It's just like, like it's fascinating to people that we made it through life in any without high school it. or otherwise I still without being in a fight. One time, this is such a fucking, I'm such a bitch. One time <laughs> in college, we were at this bar and um, there was a, like somebody uh, punched my friend and I saw it and it kind of got keyed real quick and it just came in over with a boom like that and then just like. And then like, he just ran away? Yeah, pretty wow, much. Wow, what a bitch. What a bitch, dude. <laughs> Do you ever seen the uh, Jamie Foxx stand up where he does that, where he talks about that? You got to watch that. It's I don't bit. know if I have. It's something where like he like hits and then he like goes through the club he like yeah Slither's dude basically <laughs> did that. God, such a bitch. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I don't. I don't know. I don't know what I would get out of being hit. I know I can like, like you rub be, people the wrong way, but you'd be a different person if you got punched in the face. I guess you just would have that in common with most people. Yeah. Uh, not a big like butterfly effect guy. Like if I got punched at like the early oh, right. stages of Metalwood, it wouldn't be like, oh man. Uh, I'm gonna make like. 
stretchy polos now. <laughs> and, like that wouldn't have affected me in that way. I think the idea is more that just like if you had been punched, I don't know, you like you would um maybe be less comfortable just kind of being yourself or something. Yeah. Yeah. I feel very comfortable. To yeah, to a, a probably a fault. Uh, comfortable yeah. enough in my own skin. I think so, I have that too. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we're ever gonna get to, to like you. But oh, we're we're talking bullshit? about you like deeply, but oh, I feel okay. like I feel like this is my favorite. We're just gonna bullshit forever. That I mean, it could be a two hour long episode. I've got, no, no, uh, uh, can't uh, can't be two hours. No, I have to go. Yeah, um, <laughs> I have to go now. Actually, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, no, but okay. So so seriously, I met you at the. Uh, infamous Malvin shop. Yep. You were just a boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was wearing a ridiculous gold. Do you remember that? There's a photo. Went on the Malvin. You wearing Instagram. like a um, like a golden silk Nick Fouquet hat? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. See, I wore like yeah. That's not a fedora. That's no, like true. That's like that's like a a wealthy cowboy thing. Sure. Yeah. But it can also be worn by totally not wealthy people. Sure, sure. Isn't that the interesting thing now that like wealthy objects are so accessible to humans who have zero wealth? Like people wearing like massive Balenciaga logos and stuff. Yeah, yeah. When it's like literally an entire paycheck. Yeah. Fucking crazy. It doesn't it crazy. seem irresponsible. Of course it does. It, it it actually kind of upsets me a little bit that people promote products so irresponsibly. Like, like your audience, right? I'm, so, I'm like truly happy that like this whole maximalist like fashion thing is like is it going co- away. Is it? I don't know oh, anything yeah, about anything. Sure. It is. I should, but uh, um, okay, that's good. No, I mean like logos it, are going away. Just like buying things that that's last good for me. Longer. That's yeah, good for me. Yeah. Is that really happening? I think so. Come on, let's go. Yeah. That's what it was like when I started in 2008. Yeah. Yeah. Like hashtag menswear era. Like you think it's back to hashtag menswear. Era. No, not like it's a it's a, a, a iteration of it. Got it for sure. But it's not like yeah, it's always going to be like an evolution. It'll combine some of what we've seen recently. Yeah. But I just know people that going own like different. Gucci tracksuits that say like the Gucci logo down the tape of it. Like, I don't know anybody that owns that. I'm I know one person. Yeah, and uh, why? I don't know what the, I don't can they afford it? Uh, like maybe this person can. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, but like. Doesn't mean that they should own it by any means. You know? I think if you want to say I'm rich and I don't give a fuck, and you want to wear that to Mykonos, then by all means, right? Yeah. I'm like <laughs> because I saw you in Mykonos, not physically, like I saw you on your gram. Yeah, and like I want to see that if I'm in Mykonos because I want right. to be like, look at this guy, and I want yeah, him not to give a fuck, popping champagne at the right. thing. But the problem is, it's worn by people who don't can't do any of that right, stuff. Right, right. So that's kind of like, Oh, no, oh, what was this? Where There's like one thing on, on Instagram that keeps popping up. It's like the it? guy that's, uh, got the Louis Vuitton luggage and like, is just in head to toe. It doesn't Amiri, come to And then like, just sits in like row 43 C. Oh like, shit. That's yeah. That's the sickest shit ever. Oh God. It just <laughs> exists for us to make fun of that right. person. He's literally wearing enough, enough money to fly business both ways. Yes, exactly. But, but he's, they're sitting in the back row. Oh, dude, that's what I'm saying. Come to the front where I am using points just because I fly a lot. <laughs> Nonetheless, in sweatpants and a shirt, drinking yeah. fucking champagne cocktails. What are we drinking? Champagne cocktails? So, anyways. Um, We're in the front row getting punched. Yeah. Um, <laughs> never going to get to your story here. Just ever. ask. We'll do it. Let's talk about golf. Okay. Um, last time, I feel like I did a bad... Um, I, last person I talked to golf about was Justin Eldridge. Yep. And I feel like I made myself look really good about bad about golf because I, I really do love golf, but I love to pretend like I don't. Oh, dude. This is going to be a bad conversation then because I'm what? getting like more jaded by the Go- hour, actual honestly. of golf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I'm i still that way. Yeah. I don't know why I don't love – I do. I do love it. Dude, I just went to Pinehurst. Yep. It was incredible. I stayed at your house. Thank you so much. Incredible space. If you're listening, hit up Cole. Fucking sick house on the third – on number three. Yep. Did you play number three? You didn't. No, and we also didn't hit approach shots because we just golf all day there. Yeah. By the time you get there, you're fucking exhausted. Like, yeah. Be and done. on the East Coast, all sports, and I'm a huge sports that started at 7 p.m. So I just sat on that couch and started you're betting. Just, you're just up all night, too. Oh, the dude, games the Kings game like started. 11. It was like a hockey playoff game. It started like 11 at night. Yeah, yeah. And I'm betting it. So I'm up till 2, and then I'm up at 7 to golf again. So there was no yeah. hitting the course. But that would have been a good idea. Uh, but anyways, um, golf. I think maybe for different reasons. You're jaded maybe because you're such so in the space. For me, I think it's kind of sad. Like, 
I'm not like a degenerate, but like I just I always want to play like for me it has to be a tournament. Like I just played some 65 year old man in the Sherwood first round match play, and I was just so fucking like ready. Yeah. I was so couldn't go to bed the night before. Yeah. Beat him on 14 because I wanted to watch the Rangers hockey game and it started at 12 and the match started at 10. I was like I got to beat this guy and get in there and watch this game. I didn't beat him until 12:30, but like. I love that, right? Or if but I'm you playing... need to get to that point on just like a regular weekend round. I cannot do that at all. I so don't want to play golf this Friday with Brad Newman. I love Brad. If you know Brad, <laughs> yeah. it's not him. It's just we're not playing for anything. It's what right. are we doing? Yeah. So, so I think it's different for me. But you, but this resonates a little bit with you, no? Yeah, I mean, like uh, every, uh, I'll sign up for like summer tournaments. I'll still try to qualify for like USAM. And I play with my buddy Chase uh, for the four ball uh, qualifier every year. We've made it like once, and just that getting to that level of competition, it's like really hard to like it's, get back there. You, yeah, it's not and you, like leading up to the qualifier or like gearing up for it. You just like I don't know. We're we're like washed and have jobs, and you know, no right. amount of preparation like. Right. Even seven days before the tournament is is going to get you prepared or anything like that. But it's just like, but the, yeah, it's it is like exciting to be able to compete at that level. And then when you go home and then just play like your normal golf, it's really hard to replicate that. I just don't but, know what I'm necessarily playing for. So like to to piggyback on what you're saying is like when you're preparing for like the mid am or whatever it may be. I don't do that, but let's say what I do do is the same. No, it's but like, you're, you're like member yeah, guest member, or member member. Yeah, I'm trying sure to become a like, I'm a mem- I want to be a member member legend or a member guest yeah, legend. That's Tur- same. I, I want to be a sh- my name's on the wall. It's sure what I'd like to add a few of right. So what I'm getting at is like th- my relationship with my clubs, my game, the distances, what I'm doing well. The night before I'm thinking about, well, okay, I've been hitting driver really well, but I'm not hitting my 60 yard shot well. And if I do that on one, I have to lay back. Then I get, blah, blah, am blah, I hitting blah. hybrid? Like, but when I'm playing this Friday, I just don't, I don't, no, cause you're just wailing. I'm just going to go yeah. wail all the clubs and we're not going to have conversations with myself or in this right. instance, my caddy about, we're just going to try to hit everything. And like at the end of the round, I'll be like, well, I was pumping driver today. Yeah. You know, or no, you probably get the same way where you're like over an approach shot, and it is literally the difference between 127 and like 126. Oh, for sure. And you're like, this but is but like my, if you're yeah. just like with buddies, it's just like, oh yeah, I'll just play it, hit it 130, and it'll exactly like end up on the green somewhere. Yeah. So yeah. just the actual game of golf, I love, but it's so rarely playing in a space that I love. Right. Yeah. Um, and then what I did say to Justin, which is different, I think from you, is like I just don't have that relationship with my swing and I don't, I'm not a physics person. So um, I do get like the various mechanics, but like, I don't obsess over like, I wish I kind of wish I could. Cause when you're like not in the, slot. you don't obsess over your swing, like the look of your swing. No. In fact, I want it to look more and more like John. More Daly. and more fucked up. Yeah. Like bro, I smashed this one. My buddy who I golfed with, he was actually just here the other day. He took one photo of me the other day. And like my position is so bad there, <laughs> and I absolutely murdered that one. That's that's I watched John Daly's swing. I mean, that one was probably shit on. Oh, dude, that was pounded. I know. I've been I've been in the gym, bro. Crazy. Bruh. I've been in the gym. Uh, I'm upstairs. The... <clears throat> that's not my joke. The I'm obsessed with my swing. I know you are. Like I well Most... after like a after like a golf trip, it's just like the plane home. You're just, just like watching videos the entire time of yourself. Yes, that's fucked up. Damn. And why? Because uh, you want to hit the ball well. Yeah, but like, I don't know. There's, there's like, there are certain swings that feel way better than others, and then you remember yeah. the contact of that. And you're like, how did I get there? Yeah, yeah. Do you think that there's enough space in your brain? which is certainly not as special as, let's say, Rory's brain in terms of how his relationship with golf is, yeah. to be fo- that focused on your swing as well as equally confident about your ability to par any fucking hole no matter what you do off the tee? Because, like, I'm the latter. Where I'm like, I can't spend this much time on my swing because I'm going to have to spend time figuring out how the fuck I'm getting up I'm and getting down from here. This. Yeah. Mm, that's probably when I why I play some of my worst golf <laughs> is why because I'm so focused on like the swing. You're playing golf swing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not golf. Yeah, I try not to play golf swing. I find that I shoot really poor scores when I do that. 
Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of like some of my better recent rounds, and they're all like brainless. Where you shot seven birdies on my birthday. I think you were just yep. drinking and smoking darts. That. Yeah, you barely even remember it. No, and you probably didn't get off the tee perfectly every time, but you certainly had. I heard a oh, lot no, of greens like and regulation. Pumping the driver that and way. fucking throwing darts. Yes, yes. And you lit. I I I don't I the, there was I money like in really, that one. There was a five thousand exactly, dollar pot too. I have a really yeah. really photographic memory, and I can almost always remember every shot on every hole. And yeah, it's like a good indicator of like the golf course I'm playing too. It's like, oh, is that a memorable round or blah blah blah? Sure, sure. Um, but I can remember a lot of tournament rounds. I can remember that round, but it's also uh, I don't have that. It's probably why I didn't go on to play like better golf. It's right. like I don't have that like Rory. Foot on the gap, like they're all, they under, have, all those guys are deeper. autistic. They're yeah, all yeah, autistic. Yeah. Every think, one of those guys. I think I, uh, all athletes. I realize like how well I'm playing, and then I just go like, like, yeah, you lose it. Yeah, yeah. You didn't that day. I didn't that day. Beauty of skins, though, doesn't matter. You doesn't fucking matter. fuck up the thirteenth hole, just exactly. go try to eagle the fourteenth. Yeah, I, I mean, still who knows? Had like two doubles and above. Yeah, who cares? Beauty of match play. Yeah, like that's why match play is sick for the average human. Yes. Because you don't like, you don't have to freak out. Yeah. You just lost one fucking hole. That's why I always go for it on one at oh, Sherwood because uh, it's like we'll lose one. If we lose one, we lose one. I might be able to drive this fucking green. One of the Long Beach Golf Festival during the summer. I don't even know what that is. It's three tournaments. It's the Long Beach City, which is stroke play. Where is this at? Like Sky? No. At like they, Sky Links. Like, Sky Links, Big Rack, and El Dorado. Mm-hmm. Okay. And there's a. Uh, there's a stroke play. Okay. There is a match play with a 36 hole seating round. Okay. Yeah, we do that sure. Yeah, and then there's the Long Beach Open, which is a professional event. I think it's like California, like uh, you know, some lower like tour. Like a sanctioned whatever. lower. If you play tour. well in like the city amateurs, and you get exempted to it. In the first two days of the event? No. It, oh, the third one has nothing to do with the first two days. It's a, it's a golf festival yeah, over yeah, the yeah, weekend. Yeah, exactly. You can't get in the third. No, day no, no. Unless you qualify earlier. No, there's there's. One weekend's the City Am. Okay. Another weekend's the uh, match play. Okay. Another weekend is the Open. The Open's the last one. So right. you play well oh, in the first three weekends. Get into it. Got it. But that Long Beach Golf Festival match play is seriously like one of the most fun, competitive. I mean, at least it used to be. I haven't and you played, played it? Years, no, yeah. you haven't played in years. Uh, so a lot of it, junior, a lot of amateurs in it? Like a lot, a lot of, of like, like a, Long Beach school, State, LMU, college. UCLA, USC kids would play in that. So it's like competitive during the summer. Those tournaments are really fun. Sick. You went to USD. I went UC, to LMU. LMU. Oh, you went to LMU. That's right. Um, by the way, congr- I don't know if you deserve congratulations, but your homie just won the fucking uh, crazy PGA. I don't, I don't deserve. No, no, no. But I mean, but no, but uh, that's yeah, cool. It's huge. Like you were on the same high school golf team. No, no. He played for Scripps Ranch and was a year older than me. So Scripps Ranch is was our like biggest rival in okay. within our league. I went to Cathedral. So this is high school. Yeah, this is high school. So Scripps Ranch is a high school. Yep. So rival high school. We're talking about Xander. I don't know if I said the name Xander. Um, Played a decent amount of golf with them. Played like junior golf. And then. Were you ever level? Or was he kind of always. He wasn't always the guy. There was one guy named Ben Doyle who everyone thought was like the chosen one. Okay. Uh, Sounds like a lefty. He's not. Damn it. I wanted to be right. Um, Just sounds like a lanky lefty. Yeah. Ben Doyle, the he, lanky uh, lefty. Okay. He was always the guy that we all thought was going to make it. Okay. Xander got really good when he – I can't remember if he went to San Diego State or Long Beach State first, but he transferred. I think he went to San Diego State last. Okay. okay. But out of nowhere, just like was beast. And then I think maybe won the – U.S. Publix, or and know, then what is that college junior championship? No, that was a USGA event before the four ball. Okay, and then played in the Greenbrier, and then he was just like so. On you tour. were more rival competitors versus never on the same team. Never on the same team. Got it. But like our, they were directly the same level of as us in like our league matches. Did going you to like, like states? And stuff did you have like his that. number? Yeah. Did you send him a text when he I won? Did. did he reply? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Love that. I just played golf with uh, Walker Bueller. He's a pitcher for the Dodgers. Sick. Yeah. Uh, Any he, good? He was amazing, and he just uh, had a great game, and I texted him, congratulations. No, Nothing re- back? No reply. Well. <laughs> That's all right. Apparently, <laughs> no, the guy we played nine holes. <laughs> but uh, you're, yeah. You I'm were... sure you have other famous people on your phone. 
Yeah, yeah maybe a few. That we talked about. Nothing crazy. Yeah. Um, that's cool though. That that that's cool. Um, let's talk about this too, because my most my favorite golfer is uh not very liked by it's not it's not cool to like my favorite golfer. Bryson. Yeah. Yeah. But you have to admit that him being in the hunt made it so much better. He is the he one of the most one crazy comment. He goes like, "I understand, like I have a responsibility of like being entertaining on YouTube and all this kind of stuff. Like, I'm trying to be an entertainer that's also pretty good at golf. Sometimes he's beyond pretty good at golf. He's in the top. He's the top five best golfer in the world, as far as I'm concerned. I, I also why is he do we? Not? Oh no, because his point no, he's count. not. Yeah. But also like. He's creative. He looks at the game differently. Yeah. He tried to change it. All of his iron links are this different. The are same. Are fucking same. I just think that's for me. That's in- I find that cool. I like it. Yeah. And I think I think I don't. I think he gets a bad rap because he's a nerd. Same as you. But you don't get a bad rap. You're beloved. No, he, yeah. He he's a nerd, dude. He's just a dork. Yeah. But dude, like even when he made that putt on 18 in celebration, where he's like. Like, yeah, he's like I don't know. It's hard love- to explain. He's like a uh, like a thirteen year old that's like not grown into his body. You know, like you ever see like some yeah. dude right go like kids. What's going wrong into with puberty. that though? He's still There's awesome. He's still a top five best golfer in the world. Yeah. Like he also like doesn't have good style, but like nobody does. Like you thought his logo was gonna be dope. Like what? No, of course it's a skull and crossbones. All, all no, there's a three hundred million dollar brand so called G four with a logo and skull and crossbones. Like whatever. Yeah. Who gives a shit? Like, I don't know. I, I, I like him. I think he's entertaining. I also think he's a fucking gamer. Like, when I was watching that on Sunday with friends, I just kept – I would look at, like, Morikawa's putt. Even Xander's. I'd be like, Xander's not going for this flag. He's just going to hit it. Center of the green, two putt, get out. I'm trying to I'm like, I'm like, like, Bryson's going for this fucking flag, and then he's going to make the fucking putt. And he, like, just did over and over. There's, and lost. He's, he's one of the most, like uh, – he's, like – I don't know if he's like actually autistic or like is like I think has. I'm sure. Yeah, these guys practice golf twenty hours like that. Yeah, sure. There were moments. So we went. I think my buddy Connor played in the the USAM at Olympia Fields the year that he won, which was 2016 oh, or 17. When, who won what? When Bryson won the USAM. Oh, he, I didn't know he won the USAM. Okay. Yeah. So we're all there in Chicago and Olympia's a tough golf course. Oh, I've yeah, heard. like one of yeah, the hardest. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was also like, uh, you know, late summer in Chicago. It's just like right. blistering hot and sweaty. And but he, we watched him a couple holes, and this is like pre bulking Bryson, like just grinded out Bryson, like mm. really really sharp game, not really hitting it much further than anybody else or anything like that. Good short game, good putt. Yeah, yeah. But mm-hmm. he was just like in his own world, like playing golf from a video game controller from like 30,000 feet above. He's just like jingling change in his pocket while other people are playing and like walking ahead of people when other people That's are like lining up the shot. Like He's like or whatever, yeah. Full-blown horse blinders, like nothing else is I'm happening. I'm kind of like that when I play. I mean, you're not like... I'm definitely walking ahead. I'm but there's, there's people back to that would like see shot. that and think like, whoa, this dude's such an asshole. But yeah, I've never he, seen like, it live. does not know it that it's happening, I don't think. Okay. It's insane. But like that's uh, I mean, an indicator of like how good of a competitor he is. Yeah, and he just that's who he is, right? But as long as he's not like he's he's staying within the rules, right? He's not like walking in front of people's lines. And no, no, he's just off on his own like world yeah. with blinders. I mean, fuck, dude. Which is I think why some people it's think he's annoying. Great recipe for fucking succeeding at things that you do. Yeah. Um. Um. Yeah golf man do you like any other live players that like you miss were on tour no i don't like anybody else okay. i don't i don't like not golf. like a <laughs> uh, uh patrick reed li- no no literally my second favorite golfer is like i think like maybe you hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> tyler rowe <laughs> this is my second yeah. favorite golfer um uh uh no yeah i don't i don't have a second favorite golfer i found a you know a i'm really also like funny instagram long time ago i can't find it anymore but there's a there's like a um a tailor like a like a suit, suit tailor tailor yeah, yeah in augusta georgia okay that is like family run just like has i don't know i found it on instagram i think they have like 50 followers or something like that and of course every single of course picture is of patrick reed 
They only because do Patrick Reed because he's he like from in. there. Yeah, he's from there. Yeah. But he came in and got his like jacket tailored <sighs> at this place. I don't like Patrick. Reed. And so it's a picture of Patrick Reed with his arms around like the owner yeah. of the uh, of the uh, of owner the of, the, yeah. of the tailor. Yeah, and it's like the Instagram name. It's like uh, the address, and then we love Patrick Reed. Yeah, and fifty followers, and then like ten good scrolls. Of the same picture, oh just over and over, genius. And over again. <laughs> Why didn't you screenshot that and know. share that? It's it. such a good, like, there's such a good Cole moment yeah. there. Um, yeah, not a Patrick Reed fan. I mean, it, look, we're talking about people we don't know, so true. You know, like, I don't really fuck with any of them. I don't really know them. You know, they never done anything good or bad to me personally. I pretty much only care about that. But I judge everything else by the cover. Yep. And uh, I don't like. I don't. You know, Patrick Reed just has a punchable face. Yeah. Bryson kind of has one too, but I'm also judging the performance, which is like to me dope. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't. I don't really have a second favorite golfer. I mean, pro- I. I'm such a hater, but like, probably it is Tiger. But sometimes, like, I do wish he would just hang it up. Kind of. It just doesn't look good. Yeah. Like Neil Young said, uh, "Is it better to burn out or fade away?" Like, I think just burn out, bro. Like, yeah. This fade away thing is just it's crazy hard that he's to watch. Like, technically burned out like three or four times at this point yeah and now he's he's making us watch him fade away so i don't know obviously ledge um and i I like shuffler sorry about it (laughs) i just i like he's so good you have very similar footwork i do have similar footwork. i kind of shuffle a little bit yeah um all right so enough about golf because we don't even like it we spend a lot of time on it let's talk about metal wood um which is you know hopefully got nothing to do with golf it doesn't it doesn't well, you are inherently like have a golf DNA, and you right. draw your inspiration from the community. This is why we are well, like you uh, never really want to be a golf brand. I've heard you no, say no, no. I think we work really well in the in between. You know, like I think we get looks from uh, certain brand partners or like potential collaborators because they're like, oh, you're a golf brand, and like. Whatever you want us to be, man. Like right. we'll we'll be a golf brand You're if you need us fl- to yeah. be. You yeah, know? the brand so, is flexible in that way. Yeah, uh, and you also get looks from really great brands who maybe wouldn't want to per- uh, collaborate with a golf brand, but they want to fuck with the space because the fa- space right. is currently so um, hot. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think offering that option to people. I mean, that this is like us thinking about other brand collaborations. We do so much more than that in the golf yeah. space and yeah. also outside the golf space. But um yeah, it's what's the it's like about all of it and nothing at the same time, you know? So I think uh I think it's posed some challenges of like brand identity. But I also going back to what we were saying earlier, like I just kinda am the main decision maker. So I'm like relying on my taste level to like guide the brand into what pocket it fits in you know but your mind also evolved, like it was been three years now so like you yeah. changed i mean you're still pretty young yeah 20 something 28 29 29 yeah. so you started at 26 just like me mm-hmm. I, I i just you know you you change so much so it's like you i guess I, I was gonna put you on the spot for saying something like we're not a golf brand i think you said to me one point but then it's like but you you can evolve and think i'm not saying you should be i'm just saying like things change who knows Things do change. Yeah. I mean, like... You certainly are worn by a lot of people who golf. Yeah. A lot of lot of hats. <laughs> like, it's nice that the hat is at... You will see it at Fashion Week, but that person probably golfs. Yeah, I, I, but we've had so many people, say, like... I guess you come on, Come to the store and say, like, dude, I was in such and such, or I was at this restaurant or whatever, and I saw someone in a Metalwood hat. I do see this hat a lot. And I went up to them and said, like, yo... Do you play golf? And they said, No, I don't. So I know that's kind of cool. There. Yeah. Uh, well, you sell to like Dover Street or like some places, right? Yeah. 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 yeah and I also of... think that, you know, the throwing fits guys have like yeah. definitely opened up Good point. this to. No, nah, that's not that. a fake. They certainly, yeah, yeah, yeah have. Yeah. Um, but they golf, right? Kind of. Uh... Lawrence. James is pretty good at golf, but doesn't golf. Got it. Lawrence golfs more than that. It isn't good. No, I don't think he's not good. <laughs> he's trying to be nice. Uh, I didn't play golf with him. I love our yeah, friend Brad go. did. So. I love I when uh, I love when people are, are really good at golf and don't golf. It's one of my favorite things. 
it's this arguably the sickest way to play golf. I had a yeah. Someone, someone that like, dude, I had this uh, girl that worked for me, um, beautiful model in New York. And, uh, we did a golf, your golf event at that place in Brooklyn. Yep. And she like came and all of a sudden, she's oh, she like, was so shy. I remember this. She yes, was like, I don't want to swing. She's like, but no, but first she's like, she's like, I know how to golf. And yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. No, she's like, I used to teach. Yeah. I'm like, oh, damn. Okay. Go and on. then she like gets on her fucking, she's like perfectly on plane. Yeah. Um, and then I have another friend, Dylan, who just like lives in Ohio and just like doesn't care about anything. But he was like, he's older than you, but he did all the junior stuff. And yeah. he was like, I can't remember Mike Weir. Maybe he was ranked like one behind Mike Weir, who's Canadian, Holy right? Shit. Mike, yeah, yeah. So they were like the same. And maybe like Adam Scott was on a Canadian tour at one point, mm -hmm. so he played. But now you know he's like forty, and he just is like he oh. doesn't. But he's like good at golf. But like he played like, with him, didn't Dylan. He? Yeah, he's like really skinny and has gray he's hair. Got the gray hair, long hair. Yeah, he just like doesn't hit, but he's like he shoots like seventy seven and just like, never plays. A, this guy has. Telling the camera, yeah, uh, like the sickest, like vintage Scotty Cameron, like rusted over to all hell. It like looks like he pulled it from the Titanic, and he's just like had it since it came out. Like, yeah, he's, his equipment's yeah. right. His yeah. game, he's so he's so metal wood. Yeah, he's got all the signs. Right, but yeah, that's it's something so sick about someone who's like really good at golf or just like doesn't play. Yeah, um, you know, he just makes money like doing graphic design, which is like I said, that's like pretty metal wood. Very metal wood. Yeah. 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 Uh, so more about the brand. So where where are we at today? You've done like what's what's the vision? Um, what are you working on? You know what's the what's what do you you don't have to say? I don't know. Um, Is this boring? No. Should I just like fucking spill my guts? No, um, no. But like a little. A little. Yeah. We need money. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Said every brand ever. Yeah. We need money. We're running out of money. Just like put your phone number across the yeah, bottom sure. here. Bye, email. bye, bye. <laughs> Please. Um, no, but like if you did need money, it is. You guys have really grown. The awareness is bigger. I've watched it grow. Finances. Know, so you're make, making more money. I mean, it's like you're. It is. We are going. When you make through, more money, you need more money. It's just you caught word. me on like a day where I'm like feeling growing pains pretty hard. Today we don't have to get into it, I'm but glad it is... I paid you for those sweatshirts last week. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Um, we are growing, cool. Uh, we're growing wholesale. I don't think the brand prices are set up for wholesale, but uh, you need to that's my own fault, right? Hey, I made that same mistake. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I used to be two sixty or three fifty now. Right. I just, yeah. Um. I don't too. know how to ship anything internationally. That's not good. Yeah, you work with a bad warehouse too, right? Yeah. Did that change? Fuck shit, Bob. Put their number on the bottom of the screen. <laughs> well, no, don't put their number on the bottom of the screen. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Don't. Oh, unless you want to call them to tell them to go fuck themselves. Yeah. Um, okay, so you need to switch warehouses. Yep. Mm, what else do you need? Need to hire people. Yeah. Need money for that. Yep. Marketing, uh, you, you know how you pull man. off marketing for so cheap, you crush that. Marketing is it's like, just that's, like that's that's like that's the, like you eating a hot dog and getting mustard on your nose, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I love glizzies, <laughs> yeah. I mean, like everything is content and marketing, yeah, like, yeah. That nothing, part you don't need money for, nothing you need that it I for do now. Inventory, a better warehouse, like an operator, like yeah. Like, you need like a logistical guy who just is gonna deal with all need, the bullshit. I need one dude that's development. Just like, do you have a development person? I'm the development person. Yeah, so you need a development person because that's a yeah. waste of your time. It's just fucking organization and sourcing. <laughs> yeah. Is it, what? yeah. No, on the I'm brand, not, on the brand. I'm not side, saying it's bad. No, no, it's not. Or I'm not, not saying people that like my development girl's sick. I fucking yeah. love her. She's working with me forever. We be like we need her. Yeah. You're saying like I did it at first. I don't, you don't need to do that at some right. point. Yeah, you're just yeah. kind of talking to factories all the time and getting deadlines and whatever. Right. Okay. So making need sure that stuff guy. is coming in. Yeah, you need that guy. But if you just Skip through all of that whole part of the podcast. Like the brand's really cool. The brand's great. Uh, it's probably worth a lot. Not like so. it, where, it's, where it can get. I'm just saying, like you know, it's trending. Yeah. Um. It's like we didn't do a sale this last weekend, holiday weekend. Ugh, we did. Uh. But we were still getting like a lot and of it did well. like. Yeah, I mean, why do you do a sale? Because your sales are slowing down at the end of the season. Like, much. our we were so late bringing in spring summer styles that like you can't do a sale. 
one, you can't do a sale. Uh, two, you you're putting stuff on sale that you just dropped. Yeah, he's, right. Uh, but people are still like interested because it's new, so we don't have to mark it down. Also, I'm ninety percent wholesale, so doing a sale on our own site is tough. It's yeah, a tough look, but yeah. it does well, so it's hard. Um, yeah, uh, it's it's a lot to figure out. It's still like a very very small one to two to three person operation. Let's right? Let's go so, get some money, bro. I would love that. That's why I said yes to this podcast. But you always so. say you you <laughs> say like let like let's like I think this is true for anyone. I want to be nice. You can also tell me that you don't agree with this, but like I don't really know if I want to be nice. I feel like you're really good at executing things that you're pretty comfortable with, but then like some of the you've been saying that you want money for a while. You and you haven't not had conversations about it. Correct. You. you, I've been saying I want an operator and a new warehouse. Yeah, for too long. No, for a long time. For too long. No. Yeah, those aren't hard things. The warehouse is not a hard thing to change. It just is. It's a time consuming. It's a time consuming thing. Yeah. Um, I want all these things. It's uh. And it's not even like analysis paralysis. It's just like I need to press the go button. I know. That's what I'm saying. You're not an analysis paralysis guy. I'm not either. Yeah. But I'm. I, I'm. But I am at least a button a presser. doer. <laughs> I just no. I like to try to get other people doing. But like I'm so down to press buttons yeah. and pivot. Like it's fucking fine. Yeah, fuck you know. It. I think people also respect that. You know. Like they want to be around someone who who gets that. Type yeah. Of, it's like people want to do stuff. They don't even care. They, like you're gonna you're gonna miss sometimes you know but you certainly it's the, it's the age old quote like you don't you miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take so I don't mind I'm also down to miss right now there's like not that that many eyes on us like no one really gives a fuck about it's, us so like just we should just do it it's all the reason like my first distributor was in Australia and all I ever said was like it's Australia like if we fuck up like it's not that big of a population <laughs> ended up being our best distributor to date and we're really? still with us okay. um Spain. My first sales rep was in Spain because I was like, it's fucking Spain. Their economy sucks. Like, let's see. Maybe I'll fuck this contract up. Maybe I won't. <laughs> They're not with us anymore. But like, we're just like once we got that first rep, the German rep came. They're like, oh, right. these guys are serious. Like, right. they're hiring reps. I wonder if they'd hire me. We still have our German rep. We still have now our you, Dutch now rep. Now you have Scandinavian reps texting you at eleven fifty nine. Yeah, there, no, so that I... was my French director. <laughs> um, but do you see what I'm saying? Like, I think, yeah, like you. You you just gotta press go on some things, and then you can always apologize yeah. and fix. Mm-hmm. You hope that you don't do that. Like you hope you get it right. But anyways, yeah. well, yeah, maybe I'll uh, am, let's amplify this podcast. And, yeah, you know, we need to can we put an ad out in the paper? Spend. Yeah, no, we no, should. That's bad. Yeah. No, because it devalues you. I know. I'm that's like... the thing about raising money. It has to be sexy too. Fuck, I'm so bad at raising money. We know somebody that's good at it though. We know so many people that are good at yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. I'm amazed that you're like doing ads to begin with. What do you mean ads? Or like you told me earlier that we're going to like Oh yeah. Oh, this is a perfect transition. Yes. Cuz you <laughs> you will have to have listened to this podcast to see how fucking stupid this is. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. No, dude, we already look. We already you don't do you don't do paid advertising. No. Yeah, we we do. Of course we do. And right. it fucking yields a great return and it helps grow. I'm sure it does. I don't I'm going to use the words yeah, yeah, top of funnel, you know, yeah. the whole thing. We have big e- funnel guy. Yeah, big funnel guy. Yeah. We have experts in this space at our company recently hired an incredible e-com director. He's super dope. I love him. He's helping grow our e-com. We have like a third-party agency who's really intelligent. The hard part is the part that you do really well and it's because of just sort of the, how big we've gotten, I think, and Finding our identity is just the content creation. Gotcha. I actually think it could be a little corny, to be honest, for us at this point. Like, it still needs to be like a red, like, yeah, it still wants to be on brand. Like, we'll see. I don't know. Maybe this won't ever even make it. But, (laughs) But basically, our third party person was like, okay, your podcast is great, which, by the way, we're going to get it. It's not even on YouTube, which is so stupid because. If I get like a huge person on, you get paid from just like having a lot of views. So we're going to get this podcast you, on YouTube. You, this is not on YouTube. Not yet. No. Why? Last whole season, we never put it on Where YouTube. Is it? Bandwidth, bro. Like we just didn't have enough people in the organization to be able to create the time. It's, it doesn't even take that long, but it does apparently. Yeah. It's a wholesale company, right? So a lot of our team's time is spent like nurturing wholesale accounts, whether right. it's like window displays, POP, shipping yeah. woes, like all the things that they need. So haven't had a lot of time for this sort of DTC space and content creation, but since we last year we hired a producer and we hired an e-com director. And, anyways, the third party like SEO company basically was like, we want to, you have a podcast, we want to try you talking about 
a frame as like an ad, right? Like currently, right. like you've seen my ads. They're yeah. nice. Like they pop up. It's like a nice lifestyle photo of a frame. Right. You do that. You just don't pay to amplify it. Right? You don't you don't pay a meta? No, I no. No. You've never like toggled the button and been like like uh promote your post? I did in like the f- maybe in the first six months of even having the Metalwood Instagram. I was like, this is the Dumbest. dumbest shit it, ever at that time it is for you yeah. but for where i'm at like we're trying to grow our audience and it makes right. sense to allocate like budget to this you know strategy or this very commonly used you know way of marketing which yeah. is advertising uh on social media so anyways um we can have a genuine conversation about it, but I was asked by my team to try to create a video to talk about one of our best products ever and then they're going to uh, edit the edit clip it. and then pay to kind of get it out there and just see if it has like a high conversion rate. So I'm the guinea pig. Me and you are the guinea pig. Damn. Like okay. we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about the Brooks. Okay. And we have to at least be serious for 30 seconds <laughs> so that, so that, so that they could edit that part of it. Right. And be like, and then like we have this new thing, which is great called forever classics. Which evergreen is, product ever which is so us Kenny, right we're Brooks, hampton, hampton wilson. wilson those are the four frames that like if you come to garrett light you should buy those frames for, for sure if you've never if you know nothing else but you're like why am i here just buy one of those four and you're probably gonna probably be okay be, yeah but we've never really done a good job of kind of like like levi's 501 or like vance authentic like yeah we're that brand right yeah. we're not like new trend new season whatever type of thing so uh we're now calling it this forever classics thing so I yeah, like I like the name. They're asking you do. I do. Did yeah. you see the video we made of like on like... the beach with like that guy Spencer? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good, right? Yeah. Vintage car. Yep. They're wearing like Kenny and the new emails that have been coming out, kind of trying to educate people. Yeah, I mean, like, do you think it's too you... much? No, no, no. I think educating your customer on like why these are the four, not even just because they're the ones that have been in the line the longest, but like, well, that's yeah, that's not why they're the four, but. They're right. just the four best sellers. They're the best sellers. We happen to make them at the beginning. This they, is the they all have a story. About, just like in evergreen, like core essentials, like uniform product to begin with. Like people are always saying, like, oh, why don't you have like this brand that does X, Y, and Z seasonal collections? They're like every brand needs like a plain gray sweatshirt or like plain gray sweatpants or like some. Well, we like, know a repeat. brand that like died because of that, basically. Yeah, like, and I'm saying that like yeah, like they had all the trend stuff, but they just didn't have a shirt or like. But whatever. they weren't known for selling those things. Like, why create an essential out of something that like people don't come to your brand for? Oh, people that too. Are coming to your brand because that's a fair point. A camo hat. I came to your brand because yeah. you have the camo hat. Why the fuck am I going to buy this gray sweatshirt? You've never made a gray sweatshirt before. Good point. But your but, camo hat is your th- is your right. thing. You exactly. can't ever stop making this hat. Right. You but some it. would say it's like too unique or like not uniform enough to be considered part of the metalwood. Who cares costume. about those adjectives? Like just change this color. Right. Maybe do a different print or like a, like same but different or. I don't. I don't yeah. know. You're the creative, but I'm just saying it is. I'm just your, trying to. It put, is your hand forever classic, right? So I'm trying to put emphasis on the fact that like not only have they these four sh- lenses or like uh, frames been in the line the longest, they're the best sellers, but they are like in the DNA of Garrett Light. So that That's has right. to be why they're there. Yeah. Um, just a, one more thing, like because like Supreme probably best selling thing was like a white shirt with a red box on it, right? No, and they never make them anymore. But that's kind of like they can do that. Like right. that's where you want to get. Yeah. But we ain't getting there. I mean, I guess I'm sorry. You're young and dream. I need to dream more. But, <laughs> but like, yeah, that's tough. Okay. Um. So forever classic. I got a bunch of stuff here. I also have our metalwood frame. Where you brought the metalwood yep. frame. I'm actually wearing it, Brooks. Um. You know, somebody said to me the other day, like, so you wore the Jound collaboration. Mm-hmm. Is that kind of like? Can you talk a little bit about that collaboration? I mean, I can too. But I feel like for like you're the perfect example of the kind of guy who like that really like I wouldn't say it put Garrett Light on the map, but people fuck with Justin like really heavy. People really fuck with Justin. Yeah. Uh, people are like in shock and awe about like why the Jaun products are received so well. Yeah. Because there's like not much done to them that makes them different from like he literally just the... took a, like a nice color made it matte of a brooks of this right. of this frame he took right. the brooks and just matted it in like a brown but, but i think like that so is so like revolutionary to someone's 
like extreme confidence in their level of taste to like make sure that other people are right. fucking with what they fuck with. Right. Um He's such like a like blue denim jean and white t shirt like yeah like he's desert blue. he's the that, du- that he's like frame. the cool Doug funny he's like right. that you open the closet and it's yeah, yeah. like ding, yeah. ding, ding, ding. Uh, that are you saying that it put Jared Garrett Light on the it put map me, for me I mean like I, you knew me because of Steve and because of L A and like we were already known but you yeah. didn't ever like like you called me and we only had fifty which was a huge mistake unless Justin says it wasn't but. Not from a money perspective, and I know he wouldn't say that because he immediately wanted like thirty more, and I think we were had to wait like we did order like thirty more, mm. and we could have ordered three hundred, not for money but for demand. Like I really think, that, yeah, yeah, I, I think we probably should have done more like three hundred of those. Yeah. Um, but it is cool that there's only like eighty. Yeah, and you had one and it broke, which is sad. That is sad. You want to show the camera? Right? It's such a bad thing to show. It certainly won't be on the edit that no, we promote. <laughs> <laughs> um. You but can say my fat ass like sat on them. No, 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 no. I will say that the Brooks um, originally from the top view uh, used to be thinner. With back when we made the Justin Saunders frame, and we actually thick thickened it here. That's because literally why I bought these because this sometimes bridge was sometimes uh, that can happen. You don't work, live in a cold weather climate, but when people do, sometimes that can it's be really like, bad. Really they get really stiff, yeah. and then people just try to like you know adjust them on their own, yeah. and then it fucking breaks. And yeah. Like, like literally in like New York, that'll happen so much more. And like, really? it's great when people understand, but sometimes they don't. You're like, all right, like, here's a discount. I don't know. Right, so yeah. Like, it, you, it, yeah. it's true. I'm not lying to you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the Brooks, um, you wore that frame so much. And I actually, next year's our 15th anniversary. I think I should call Justin and see if he wants to maybe do a reissue. Thousand yeah. percent. Yeah. Yeah. That would kill. I mean, it just like you've already seen the blueprint yeah. to like what it could be. It's yeah. gonna be like a slightly it's just his taste on like a little twist we're so his taste though it's just like classic everyday yeah i think uh, that's iconic like i wear traditional uh i wouldn't say like design school informed or anything like that but it's, no, it's, it's simplicity it's it's minimalist it's simplicity is key and like this thing should last you a long time yeah like, don't buy rubbish yeah. buy like something nice and that's then the justin saunders yeah. motto i don't think he's made another I wear since you would know though. No, he hasn't. Yes, yeah, I gotta hit him up. Yeah. Um, but Brooks, this was your frame. This is your new frame. You're wearing Mr. Light now. Uh, that is the James, which yep. is in kelp. In kelp, which is an awesome frame. Uh, but this is this is your frame, and we'll yep. we'll show the broken one. Why not? Bug it. Um, oh, so sad. I have a very round head. Throw that Brooks on. I have a very round head, so I like I tend to stray away from round lenses yeah it's more square and this is definitely square and i always God, it's just you look like cole i gotta this reissue is like normal me did you ever do the that's normal nicole yeah that's and like I have those. no that's like i screenshotted my zoom and made a funny face and put it on my instagram <laughs> stories and you're wearing those glasses yeah <laughs> this is this is do you know how to put it on good you've had it for so long yeah some people can way oh wide. yeah Boom. I'm not new to this. So look at that, dude. Brooks, Brooks with the clip, size 47. Are these the and then green lenses? Uh, those are G15s. I like these. I just grabbed one from the store. I got to go yeah. return it. That wasn't the color we have. I actually don't even listen. I don't really like that color combo. <laughs> that won't make the edit about? either. I don't know. I don't really like Brown a green. Brown and green is sick. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. No, no, no. Not the lens. The silver. I would oh, want like an antique yeah, gold. Yeah, yeah. I would call for a, that deep olive tortoise to have like an antique gold with that G15 lens. The silver kind of like is very different, but and then we got this sunglass, which oh, it was a Kenny. I was gonna say one of our first ones was remember when like, uh, you know how like Heineken was with what's his name Coltrane, yeah, and they were doing cool shit. We made a Heineken one hundred back in the day with like Ronnie at Kith was well, that was kind of our first Justin's. I went, Justin's different, but it was that first like audience yeah. that was really strong. Yeah. Um, and the Kenny was the version of that, but we kind of did it in this color with like a flat lens. But anyways. Cole Young, big Brooks guy, and um, I mean, I just wore them to death. That's uh, like, uh, do you talk to Justin? Never met him. Never talked to him. Oh no. Okay. No idea. I'm gonna hit him up. Uh, I was gonna um, say, uh, I was gonna say, Cole Young. He must know of you. Has your hat ever been on his uh, Tumblr? Hell no. Why not? I don't know. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, nonetheless, fan, I'm in hand though. Yeah. Uh, this is yeah, great. I wore, I wore those. I wore those glasses. <laughs> 
uh, literally to death. I mean, they were my daily drivers since the day that they came out. So yeah, um, right. lenses in there and everything. We'll save yeah. these. I well, we I can always make, make new that. ones. We can make new ones. But, that, I should say but that. these are just prescription. They're not yeah. like um, they're not transition or anything, right? No. Save them anyways. Yep. And also, does it say? I don't even think we stamped them. Uh, they say down on them. No, that one of fifty. Oh. No, we didn't. Yeah, Damn. They say I thought they were one of a hundred. I think they're one of eighty. Gotcha. I think we ordered fifty in one color, um, and we, he took twenty five, and we took twenty five, and we sold them on our website only. They weren't available for wholesale. And then we reordered. I want to say thirty, but like that's that actually fucking, fucking insane. Low, doesn't it? it? Might have been fifty, and we went twenty five. He he took thirty, and we took twenty. That might have been it. Yeah. So I bet you it was like a hundred total. Yeah. Still. Um, yeah, it was probably a hundred total. Um, sick frame. I'm gonna bring it back. If he's Please down. Do. Oh yeah, even the little down. I just I don't. You know, it's crazy. We have one in our archive. But what I, year was this? Twenty eighteen. Yeah, seventeen maybe. Gotcha. Um, seventeen sounds right. When did you start at Melvin? Because right around there. twenty end of twenty seventeen. Yeah, it was about 2017, yeah. 2018. Um, but anyways, the Brooks is the best, one of the best, one of my favorites from our very first collection, named after a street in Venice uh, that Gold's Gym, I believe, is on. Mm-hmm. So, thank you for being a big supporter of the forever classic Brooks frame. Absolutely. Cut. <laughs> what do they say? Like, I don't know. Send it. <laughs> Ship it, ship it, seal it, deal it, wheel it. I do. I mean, like, wait, do these oh, have a, sick too. a sunglasses clip? No, but we can make a custom one. But no, we didn't, cool. we didn't produce that. That would be cool, yeah. Um, I do like that, like, typically the uh, sunglass clip-on, like, option, they're always really heavy. These don't feel as Oh, heavy. yeah, super lightweight. Yeah. And they fold. Yeah. Which is dope. Um. Which color? Oh, I never wore this color. Let me see your gut. This is this is the not as good of selling uh, color, but this was my favorite. You were you were wrong about that too. I know. Right? We had a conversation, and I said, well, it was during a time when like uh, other competitor brands were doing like black and yellow. Does this kind of vibe. Though. Yeah, yeah. Those look good um, on you. Yeah, I gotta find mine and dig them up. These are I the. I look like a hunter. Uh, is that the vibe? Metalwood vibe? Like I look like I'm going hunting. Yeah. Okay. You should look. Um, a little scary. Do hunters wear sweatpants? Yeah, for sure. Cool. Scent blocker ones. Oh, they got to have that like duck camo. Though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or like a duck camo shirt with like black sweatpants. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these are the <laughs> Garrett Light uh, metal collaboration dubbed the MP14, named after the Mizuno blade Blades. golf irons that uh, were famously played by Tiger Woods. The um. Blades thing really took off too. So much so that maybe one day it'll be Your diffusion a line? diffusion line. Who yeah, knows? I feel like um, pre metalwood nobody really cared. The general public just didn't really think about blades. I there's so many parallels in other sports, like the difference between riding a short board and a long uh-huh. board. Well, yeah, or just a short board that's like thin versus right. one that has like fat yeah. rails. I found out that or like, like a fishtail versus all the like sick a... tennis players play with like tiny fucking rackets. Of course, yeah, I played tennis. I had yeah. no idea that there were different sizes. Yeah, rackets. the head size is like ninety five. Right. Yeah, I used a Yonex and my head size was like ninety five. Yeah, so you, like if you're you sold look, like a hundred and ten. You which look is just a... so sick with a tiny racket. Of course. Yeah. All the tennis players play with that. Well, there you I go. think. I mean, I don't watch tennis anymore, but definitely back in the day, like. I feel like maybe a hundred was the biggest size you would wear. Yeah, and they also uh, use gut strings. I did not know that. Like pig gut, like gut, like fibers. You use yeah, like yeah. pig fiber. Yeah. yeah, they use gut um, instead of synthetic. Mm-hmm. So like, if you get get your racket strung or just buy it at like Sport Chalet, I don't think that exists anymore. But uh, racket doctor, racket doctor, or um, there there's a tennis warehouse, which is where I went to college in Cal Poly. Um, anyways, synthetic gut strings, um, they. I guess you could. They're really sensitive about the weight. Sorry, nobody asked about tennis, but what's the weight? Like the strings, you can tight. You can string them like really tight at like sixty four, and then when like you hit, oh, nobody does sixty four. Like so like, when the ball hits, gotcha. it's like a wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or you could str- do it really loose Trampoline. at like fifty eight, so that it's like boom. Got it. Got um, got so it. that's everybody's really sensitive about all of that. Anyways, yes, you're right. It's like that. Right. Yeah, it's like that. Um, I just feel like 
a lot of people are using like you, there should be like a warning label, like drink responsibly. One thousand percent. A lot of blades out there should so you're be gonna playing. look really sick, but you need to back it up. Like I don't even really play blades. Like is R five nine I five nine blades? Which ones? I five nine ping I five nine. Um, they're not really blades. Hmm. They're not like the baby blades from Mira. No, and they're not like what there's else? like there's they're not a lot like the knife, like, butter knife blades now that have like a big chunk of tungsten in the sole, and I which think is like the, helping you like you have the little screw port on the toe, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, that's where the tungsten goes, and it helps you get the ball in there. Don't don't pros kind of use that now too? Um, a handful of them do. Yeah, who's using? Name two players that are using just full butter knives. Scotty Scheffler. Really? What does he use? In the world. What? P7TWs. That's TaylorMade. Yep, Tiger Woods irons. They're just um, they're just fucking butter knives. Yeah, there's no technology. Like if you play the like the it's the iron technology has only come so far. Uh, it's just right, a driver metal. has though. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then who else? Um, what about my boy? No way, Bryson. No way. No, he plays like yeah. He's got all the yeah. tech. <laughs> yeah, a lot of them do. Yeah, Xander. Yeah, he plays the Apex Pro. Is like a ca- like a muscle cavity. This is a whole other thing. Like Rory, what does he play? He is playing. Uh, yeah, he has his own irons. He has the P seven RM. How like, deep do you think your knowledge is on this? Like, if I was like Tyrrell Hatton, uh, Ping, I <laughs> Blueprint for sure. I have a really is this like, like bat, like, stupid like, amount of knowledge on this. Yeah, like, like I, can, I feel like I can name a lot of dogs and I can name a lot of golf clubs. But like by golfer, like I can just name yeah, out probably. a golfer. Yeah. I can't even think of any more golfers. <laughs> Mike Weir. Uh, long time Taylor made guy. I'm not really sure what he's on now though. Who's the guy that won the thing? That won the PGA? That played in the? Is that Weir? No. Little guy. He played with uh Brian Harmon? Yeah. What's he playing? I know he has a s- old spider daddy long legs putter that's like a belly putter. It's like oh basically the same length as his whole body. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna end on this topic is just like dude, what is up with your putter? Dude. Is it for looks or do you really putt that much better with it? It's the most embarrassing thing that you do, but you somehow made it cool. Okay. In recent months, I, I have been um, playing more of a like tournament ready try hard bag because I am like truly interested in like how good I am still. Yeah, you were playing pretty dumb a dumb bag for like a while. like a bag that looked really cool but was for sure I did five that. to ten shots worse. You made me do that, remember? I know. I'm yeah, sorry. I'm selling those clubs now. Okay, good. Okay. Um, so. I have uh, a modern driver and like As you a couple should. hand like a couple year old fairway woods and hybrids, and then my irons are. You're not you playing know, the Nike Square anymore. N- no, but every once in a while the Callaway Square fairway wood does sneak in the bag. That one's really sick. Okay. I Wedge have game wedges. All my wedges are they rusted and dope? Yeah. Okay, so so I got they... my bag Fine. and I'm like. My game is just missing a little quirk. And like I've had this conversation with my buddy Chase where there are like ways of play like I don't know. There there's like Metalwood is yes, very like uh like tra- purist in the form of in the way of like you should be playing a blade putter. Right? Right, but there's a, okay. But sometimes but it gets irresponsibly it's counterculture. Remember, and, right. Like, so so Metalwood like has always been really. about yeah, counter tech, tired technology, this like this the muse of Metalwood is like this person that used to play really good competitive golf and is now washed up and so has all the signs of like a really good golfer. This is like grips logo down. Yep. Like no clip I'll on towel, too. like all that kind I'll of stuff. Right. So, you taught me a lot of things actually. Yeah. Thank you. So with the stand up putter, which is a like a forty eight inch long like you know, cheat stick, I have essentially reverted into like this person that is tr- looks like he's trying really hard. And it's just like, it's for fun. It's like all visuals. 
have I played really, really well with it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, have you had seven I... birdies that day. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I had it that round. Yeah. I've, I've only been putting with that putter for, like, a couple months. And I think the first round, I think I had, like, almost 40 putts. Like, whoa, I should definitely not, never never Not be this using this thing. Yeah. yeah. And then the next round, I played with my buddy in That's the so different. lakeside yeah. member guest. Yeah. Not, like, the big one, but, like, a one-day St. Patrick's Day thing. Yeah. And I... I think I had like 24 putts and shot like 69. You were like, this is it. Like, this is this. it. I'm, yeah. the, I'm like broomstick guy now. It, it somehow fits. It fits yeah. the whole thing. Um, I just, as a good putter, I can't help but see those sometimes. I'm just like, what happened to this person? <laughs> right. But you also use an insane putter. I do. So, But it's still a blade and it's like, it's just short. It's right. like really but short. It does not fit your stroke. Are, you, are we sure about that? I'm pretty sure. Okay. <laughs> it is not right for you. Okay. And yet you have this like insane confidence in it. That's that, like, But that's what I'm saying. Putting is like darts, you know? It's like, yeah. I'm not a good dart player, but sometimes I'm like super dialed and it's yeah. like, it's all like, oh, I'm just dialed. So some days like, you see it, it to some the days you don't. Nah, putting I never don't see. Uh, I mean, I can throw up 36 putts, but that's so rare. Like <laughs> That's like really never happens. Spencer Levine, you know about this guy? No. Um, I have no idea how old he is. Older pro player, um, not in the sense that he's old now, but he was on tour a long time ago. Right. He's been off of the tour, and now he's coming back. Kind of. He, so he's not like, old. He's like under 30. He's not under 30. Okay. He's in his 30s, maybe okay. 40s. Oh, but, okay. okay. Um, amazing player. Uh, hor- like Can't like think his way around the golf course. Like Just is like just, a case. Just like, a pure ball striker, basically? Ball striker, but like – Short fuse, famous videos of him like kicking his Sick. hat around look at and this. shit like that. Look at this. He was like leading the Honda Classic, I think. I can't remember what year it was, but he was winning by like a lot, and he got like zero screen time because he was just chain smoking cigarettes the oh, entire time. Is this guy sponsored by Metalwood yet? Not yet. Uh, but he fell off, played in like a corn ferry event maybe last year or two years ago, and won, and he was using like a really uncomfortable length putter called the hammy putter where it's like a stand up putter but you hold the handle really far away and you like at like an underhand angle. oh it. god i've seen this yes and like he, from behind yes oh and i know he, those guys and he won using that putter and like the grip was like really... s- split grip like his hands were like 2 feet apart from each right. other and it just like looked legal right so sick legal yeah. wild um, it's How good confidence. Yeah, no, exactly. just confidence. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, we got to wrap it up soon. Uh, I don't know. I don't really have anything to wrap it up. I did, I just was curious. Out of all the because you did change. You know, I, I'm gonna admit to some things. I did have a clip on towel. Yep. I did put my ball marker right here. <laughs> that this that is, this, is sick. this is that's sick. That I was could gonna be say sick. what's the word. I think that's the so of all the things that you can do wrong. Clip on towel, ball marker, clip on the hat. What else is there? If you put your woods in the bottom slot of your bag. Okay. Iron your, covers. Your irons are no, it's like honestly Nobody puts their woods in the bottom slot of their bag. That's where so your putter many goes. Do. No. When I'm mad, I might shove it in there really quick, but then I get to the next ball and I'm like, what am I fucking doing? I no, no. There's there. people that But that's not well, a fit. Exclusively that's ride. conduct. That's not a fit. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. conduct. Um obviously iron covers are a joke. Iron covers are a joke. Probably still unanimously the worst thing you could do. Probably. Who knows? Maybe there's an argument for like Hermes you don't think iron this covers. Is bad? It's kind of like you don't it think could the be clip sick. on the hat is stupid. Like if you did thing? it, if we made a magnet in the camel hat that was like ironically. You know poor. what's sad is if you you can literally do anything. Should we do you it? Know, you know you can do anything in the golf space and get away with it. Maybe. I think there's not much that you couldn't do because you could do it ironically. I can think of a couple things. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, um, I what's that's what's, what's so the fun most about cringe? Metalwood not being a golf brand though, right. because you could get away with that shit. Funny thing is, you'll sell so many because that's what most golfers want is a clip on towel. Right, exactly. Is that the most cringe for you? A clip on towel? Clip on towel. I, I'm I'm standing by this. If you put your wood tour in the bag. bottoms, what about a tour bag? Mm, yeah, that's tough. Too. What about a tour bag that doesn't have a stand? Massive. Not Ooh. as bad as a cart bag. Different. Cart bag. Tour bag is like leather, has like limited pockets. Cart bag is like has no curvature to it. It's just a tube standing That's up. what the pros use, that thing. No, it's different. I'll show you a picture of it. Got it. Yeah. Cart bag is really bad. Um, 
what do you have? You have it just a fucking the Jones bag. Yeah, Jones like no stand, just shoulder. Goes on. I go cart. back and forth. The okay. new Jones bag is really good with the stand, but I you know have tons of pencil bags that you just throw on the ground. Yeah. I'm trying you, to think. You uh, we do have to stop like in one minute, but okay. yeah, you are really good. I um, I get gifted some of the same stuff that you get gifted. And one of my struggles with it is I just I'm not like an influencer. Like I I I could be <laughs> I can be influential. Like there is a big community of people that look right? right, but I feel I'm not. It's not that I'm not an influencer. Like social media is not. I'm not real comfortable with it mentally or physically. And uh, everybody gets this fucking Jones bag, and everybody does the same thing. The including, same fucking video, including myself, because I just felt Damn. obligated. And then I just turn on your channel. And you're fucking dumping out a bag in the middle of your garage with balls flying out of the bottom. I'm like, this is fucking probably took him 10 seconds to think seconds. about, 30 seconds to make. And this is why this guy's the fucking goat. You're the fucking right here, social man. content goat, dude. Because I could think of that, but I can't be bothered. I'm bit, granted, like, no excuse, but like, I do have like two kids and like, there's just a lot of shit going on. But, I will say, but I, it's, I'm go there's less of it happening on my phone now because I'm in the trenches on like spreadsheets yeah. and doing bullshit shit like bop. that. But fucking like, shit bop. Fucking shit bop. But when I was not doing any of that stuff, that's why we gotta get I you truly, <laughs> truly felt like Instagram was so Bro, this easy. is why we need to get you the money and get you the fucking lemmings. So Call you, now. Yeah. So the phone number could, at the bottom of the screen. You could just do that shit because you're yeah. so good at it. Thank you. You really are. And Appreciate I'm like that. I'm like bathing in my own misery as I fucking just be like, take for the shoes, Buscemi. <laughs> These are sick. Check it out. Unboxing. Yeah. Me and fucking 20 people I know that I won't name that did the same video as me and knew that I would. And to, there's, like, there's Cole over there. do unboxing videos anymore. I know. Well, what do I, just a photo, just a photo. Just take a photo of it. Just be like, thanks, guys. That's better. Yeah. Yeah. If I'll, you genuinely can I call you? If you genuinely enjoy unboxing videos, please DM me. Like I want to know like what you're getting out of like taking the box open. Like I would say I love peeling like the wrap off a TV. You know? Yeah. Right. Or like or like, or like, a, like a washing a unit or yeah. like a phone. Yeah. But I wouldn't watch videos of it. I don't think. I think I prefer the physical feeling of it. The next thing I get some get next time I you should send me something. And then I'll just like have it on my face and then I'll just pack it back up in the box and I'll just ship it back to you. God, well, you know what we should it's do? opposite of unboxing. What we should do is make a greatest stuff. hits video. Like I'll send out a, a thing to F, like 20 people and then we'll make a funny video that somehow splices in their 19 things that they did exactly the same and then just how cold fucking goaded them all. Okay, enough already. Peace. Bye. Bye. <laughs>